Well, hi there everyone, it's uh, 14, 18, 18 minutes past 2 on the 16th of May 2013. Uh, I really don't know how to describe myself at the moment, I'm probably 50% happy, 50% extremely emotional at the moment. Uh, this morning I found out I passed my HNC uh, with a grade B uh, and the graded unit part. Uh, just testing what I knew about the uh, office management, office technology and so forth. <clears throat> so very happy of that. I wasn't even expecting a B. I was, I was like, expecting a C grade. Uh, so mega happy of that. And uh, virtually all my classmates had passed as well. Uh, so coming home to even better news. Uh, I've been waiting for this for donkey's years now. So... I'll try and show on the screen. Uh, try and cover my my good looks with it, which is my letter from the, the Royal Infirmary <coughs> to say that I'm getting my surgery. <coughs> uh, well, I'm getting my surgery pending the result on the pre-op. So, so, dear Mr. Beaver, oh God, I hear that name. Yeah, you've been admitted to the hospital on the 20th of June 2013, so that's 35 days' time at 7.30 in the morning. I haven't even in my bed at 7.30 in the morning. So, so things are looking up for me, but <coughs> as most of, me, most of everyone that knows me uh, knows I am... Um, I've been waiting for a long time. Now. Some people don't think I deserve it because you know, cause my weight's been going up and down like a, a yo yo for years. And I eventually hit an almost 30 stone a few years ago. Uh, so so I, I can only hope that I pass the pre operative assessment. But I'm of the thing, you know, what happens if it all goes wrong and that? What happens if I don't make it through the operation and so forth? But. I actually watched a wee documentary in Channel Four, uh, try Channel Five, complete through the Big Body Squad, and it was very interesting listening to one of the anaesthetists that carry out the operation. Uh, you know, talking about the how they anaesthetise a large person and how they monitor it and so forth. Obviously, I've got various conditions like the sleep apnea, the high blood pressure, and that. And I'm actually going to the doctors in um in the next time just to. Well, I wish to see about my, my hearing, because I, I went stone deaf a couple of weeks ago uh, to see if that's healed up a wee bit. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to discuss my medication, because I think uh, what I was saying before is I need to stop the liraglutide, or more commonly known as Victoza. Uh, so I won't be taking it ever again, which is happy for me, because I hate stabbing things into my gut. And... Uh, I was downstairs there, I hate to see it for a 38 year old, the tears were just flowing in my eyes. So, I've just got, you know, this thing, you know, if if it, it does go wrong in that, things things I need to do in that. So, most people think I'm bloody stupid at the moment talking, I look at people with a bull, you know, about, you know, if it does go wrong and so on, but everyone say that nothing will go wrong. So I don't think they'd be offering me the operation if they thought that I wasn't or reasonably fit enough for it. Uh, reasonably fit, but I love considering I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not exactly a, a normal sized person and that, so... Uh, oh, I don't know what else to say today. Um, <clears throat> as I said, 50% emotional, 50% on an absolute high at the moment. So I'm going to end this wee video now and try and do another one when I speak to the, the dietitians, see what they want, see what they have to say to me. So hopefully hopefully you'll, you'll have understood this video because I, I tried using a different method of recording my last one and it never worked out obviously because some people did say they couldn't understand my accent or couldn't they, couldn't they hear it at all. So, so say goodbye to you all. I'm way over my wee limit. Or three minutes for these videos. I'm actually approaching five minutes now, so I'm sure you're all bored stuff listening to me prattle on at the moment. So, so goodbye for now, and if I don't speak to you again, uh, speak to you again for the weekend. Have a great weekend, everyone. Okay, bye bye.